Hello there ladles and dirty spoons. This is Monday, May the 4th. I'm going to go through the current Ayatan treasure run. One thing to notice about the treasure runs is that you go straight for the treasure and then go and do whatever the hell you like for the rest of the level. Take your fastest frame, a weapon you maybe want to level up, and also, oh, oh it's not going to show me, but yeah, take your fast frame, because you just want to go straight in for the kill, so to speak. Don't worry about taking anything out until you've got the Ayatan treasure, because if you fail it, you ain't gonna get anything from the level. La 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 la. Bye, beaches. why they make this marker sometimes just does not appear in the right places at all. Anybody else notice that? You'll be following your lovely little marker around and it'll just flash about between different areas. Whoops, too far. I'm gonna go down here. Last two weeks it's been the same one. I wonder if it's going to be the same one again. Oh yeah. Let's get into this secret area before it shows off. That uh, little bit just there. Not always open. If you take too long getting across, it will close off. Not that there's anything much in there of course, but it depends on what you're looking for. What have we got to do today? I think I know which one this is. On your marker. Get set. Now this one, let's have a look through. This one is a nice and easy. Really simple. We've got to do, go down one side or the other. See that wall? Slide yourself, wall run along it, bullet jump across it. Down the end, you're done. I like going to the right just because, just because I do really. Slide it in over that, and you are done. Up here, see your treasure. Pick it up, and now go do whatever the hell you like. Because these have got the orokins in it, you can go around and find dragon crystals, and then you can build some stuff. Hope that helps you out, and may the force be with you.